It's all over the rumor mill. The Toyota electric pickup truck, also known as the EPU. I'm talking about a new electric midsize pickup truck with a unibody construction and steering yoke. It's smaller than the Tacoma, and Toyota intends it to be the Ford Maverick's worst nightmare. Today we're looking at the Toyota EPU, why it's grabbing the attention of the car industry, and why Ford's shaking in its boots. A lot of time and research was done to put together this video. And I really want to know what you think, so while you're watching this, please comment below and share Share your thoughts. It's nothing new that big car makers are electrifying their cars. Let's just say that Toyota hasn't been sitting idly watching from the sidelines. Some say that Toyota has been an EV skeptic, but actually that's not entirely true. Toyota isn't categorically against battery electric vehicles. In fact, its first battery electric vehicle was an electric compact crossover called the BZ4X, which got released with the 2023 model year. The truth of the matter is that Toyota in general has been very cautious with its approach. It just doesn't want to put all its eggs in one BEV basket because it doesn't see BEVs as the singular solution to carbon neutrality. Rather, it believes that alternative technologies are also part of the total solution. That's why it's been diversifying across multiple technologies, including hybrids, plug-in hybrids, hydrogen fuel cells, and so forth. Honestly, you can't blame them for exploring and developing newer technologies. If anything, it's hedging its bet. Funny enough, even Ford's finally starting to see the wisdom in this. Take a look at the Ford Maverick. The hybrid version of the Maverick makes almost 60% of the model sales. In other words, it's outselling the gas-powered version. That's why Ford intends to ramp up production of the Maverick hybrid. Ford also is doubling up on the production of the F-150 hybrid next year, while slowing down production of the battery electric lightning F-150. By the way, if you haven't seen my recent video about hybrids winning over BEVs, check it out. Now, that all said, as part of its diversification, Toyota doesn't want to get left behind in the BEV sandbox either. Toyota plans to field 10 new EVs globally by 2026, and that's just three years away. And that may include the electric Land Cruiser, which Toyota recently teased us about. Recently, Toyota also surprised fans by revealing an electric pickup truck concept. Right now, the electric pickup, or EPU, is still a concept. It's a four-door double cab pickup that seats five, and it's a lot shorter in length than the Tacoma. 199.6 inches to be exact. Toyota hasn't revealed too many technical details yet. Even so, analysts expect the EPU will ride on a new electric platform. Its wheelbase is long and measures 131.9 inches. That slides the EPU right between the outgoing Tacoma short and long bed configurations. And it's significantly longer than Ford Maverick. The EPU's measurements we've got so far explain why it has slightly unusual proportions. For example, the rear axle is mounted further back than we typically see on a compact pickup. The Toyota EPU concept looks significantly different than a previous mid-size electric truck concept that Toyota showcased a few years ago. That previous concept looked more similar to the latest 2024 Tacoma. Because of this, experts assume that Toyota's planning on releasing multiple electric trucks in the future. Here's the thing. Both customers and dealerships, too, have been asking Toyota for a smaller pickup. When Ford released the Maverick, it really fueled a new desire for smaller trucks in the market. In fact, Maverick is so widely popular that Ford can't keep up with demand. At the moment, the Maverick is only available in hybrid and gas-powered versions only. There isn't a BEV version of it, at least not yet. Its only real competition is the Hyundai Santa Cruz, which is currently available as a gas-only model. Right now, Toyota doesn't have any compact truck whatsoever in its lineup here in the States. So it's no surprise that Toyota wants to share the segment. Now, to clarify, Toyota hasn't officially committed to releasing the EPU. But at this point, it seems inevitable, given market demand and feeding frenzy. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if Toyota also releases a hybrid version in addition to the battery electric version. The Toyota EPU features a unibody construction. This is one of the reasons why analysts believe it will compete against the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. Whether that chassis is a new bespoke electric chassis or an existing one is still to be determined. However, there are recent rumors that the pickup could also be based on the Corolla Cross. If that's the case, then the EPU could likely be built on an existing chassis. If you take a further look at the EPU's exterior, it's fairly standard, nothing atypical. So that could suggest that the EPU may go into production sooner than we think. It's a sharp looking concept. Just look at the funky C-pillar, slanted nose, and muscular wheel arches. So it looks sporty and athletic and less rugged than the Tacoma. The EPU has a small bed in the back with a modular tailgate that can split in two on the horizontal plane. This creates a bit more space in the bed to haul longer items. It's yet another sign that Toyota had the Maverick in the back of its mind while designing the EPU. The EPU was almost 
Palace, reminiscent of Ram's first EV, the Ram 1500 REV. The Toyota EPU includes an extra deep, four and a half foot long bed that can extend to six feet with an innovative tailgate design. And if you are looking for additional space, the second row seating in front of the bed can be folded forward to provide up to eight feet of hauling space. Also similar to Ram's electric concept, the EPU includes a path through beneath the center console to haul long items that are up to 12 feet long. Think of items like lumber, long poles, or rods and so forth. The EPU aims to be both futuristic and minimalistic in design. Its dashboard appears to double as a countertop. It also has a large display screen, dual screen setup that has physical drive select controls built into it. Toyota hasn't shared any detailed specs about the powertrain or battery, so we don't know what level of power and performance it will deliver, or even driving range, let alone towing or payload capacity. But we can bet that Toyota will at a minimum make it on par if not better than the Ford Maverick specs. I can also bet that Toyota will prioritize affordability as well. Its off-road tires suggest a dual motor powertrain. For now, industry experts are predicting the EPU will likely come in two powertrain options, single motor two-wheel drive and dual motor all-wheel drive options. Evidently, Toyota's been working on the EPU over the last three years. Originally, Toyota built the model as an in-house design study, but executives liked it enough they wanted to put it in the Tokyo show. According to Kevin Hunter, president of Toyota's Design Research Center in California, Toyota wanted to ensure that the EPU concept didn't look like a toy, but a robust, functional vehicle with capabilities. At the recent Japan Mobility Show this past October, Toyota confirmed that the EPU measured 200 inches long, 75 inches wide, and 67 inches tall. That's almost identical to the Ford Maverick, but just 3 inches wider and 2 inches taller. Also identical to the Maverick, the EPU features a low center of gravity to improve handling. Toyota doesn't want to cannibalize sales of the Toyota Tacoma at all. That's why it tends the EPU to attract a different consumer base than the type of buyer who prefers the Tacoma. Specifically, the EPU is designed for drivers who are looking for the utility of a pickup without the extreme off-road features. If you're wondering if the Toyota EPU will come to the U.S., the short answer is we don't know yet for sure. It's certainly possible. Personally, given the success of the Ford Maverick, my guess is it will be coming at some point to the U.S. But to be clear, the EPU is far from being Toyota's only electric truck. There's also the Toyota Hilux BEV Revo concept. Basically, it's the electric version of the famous Toyota Hilux. Originally, the BEV version debuted in December 2022. And this packed October, Toyota started testing it in Australia. So while it's called the Hilux Revo BEV concept, it's far from being just a concept vehicle. The battery pack is tucked between the frame rails, and it has its motor at the rear wheels with a dd on rear axle and leaf springs. With this layout, the vehicle achieves better ride and handling than if it were just a live axle alone. The Hilux BEV Revo concept itself is based on the gas and diesel powered version of the truck produced in Thailand for the Australian and Oceania markets. It was built as a one-off. Now the concept and the production model are largely similar, but it does have a few differences like a closed off grill and charging port and a front left fender. The truck itself has been described as a ute more than anything else. In Australian slang, ute is short for utility vehicle. In 2022, Toyota sold 64,000 Hiluxes in Australia, and that was enough to make it Australia's best-selling vehicle. But believe it or not, according to Toyota, Thailand is the ute capital of the world. In that same year, 2022, Toyota sold over 145,000 Hilux vehicles in Thailand. In other words, more than twice the volume compared to Australia. Hilux BEV Revo concept is still in its early days. Toyota has yet to release the full flat official specs of this battery electric vehicle, but reportedly it has a driving range of just 124 to 143 miles. So will we see the Hilux BEV Revo concept here in America? Here's the thing. To be eligible for any EV tax rebates here in the States, the vehicle would have to be produced in the US. Seeing that it's currently being tested in Australia, my guess is it's unlikely that we'll see the Hilux BEV Revo concept in the United States. States. Here's another interesting thing. When the Hilux BEV Revo concept first debuted, then President Akio Toyota said that there was almost no chance we'd see an immediate debut of an electric pickup from this Japanese automaker. He didn't feel the market was yet ready to fully adopt BEVs and that the infrastructure wasn't ready to support them at a large scale. He felt BEVs would take longer to become mainstream than the media presents. And the BEVs weren't the only way to achieve carbon neutrality. Fast forward to reality. We have a different leader at Toyota and I'm talking about Koji Sato. And Toyota's a opinion as a brand is starting to conform a bit towards mainstream more than ever before.
By the way, if you don't already know, Toyota has revealed the Tacoma EV concept back in 2021. Toyota indicated it was in development, but even as of recently, Toyota hasn't given any solid timeline or specifics for a release. What we do know is that the 2024 Tacoma Hybrid is set to be built soon in Mexico. It will also be getting iForce Max badging and be configured to be the workhorse of the lineup with a solid capability for towing and hauling. There's also the upcoming Land Cruiser SE concept, which is yet another new electrified Toyota. The Land Cruiser, as you know, is an iconic large SUV. It's been around since 1951. So we're talking high torque performance with a monocoque body to handle rough terrains. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where I'll talk more about this. But now you tell me, what do you think of the Toyota EPU? Do you think it'll be better than the Ford Maverick? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.